What's up, YouTube? Welcome to the video. So I talked to Activision. I'm going to try to throw the tweets up on the screen. I tweeted at them earlier today, and they actually watched my video and responded, trying to help me out with getting these keys back. I know it's not a big deal at all. I mean, most of you guys are like, what is he talking about? Why does he even care? I just like to have an issue and then have a game developer fix it. That's pretty cool. So they ended up giving me 30 keys, no Quartermaster Cypher or anything like that, which I understand. I, I would assume that that would be the best way to do it is either refund the $2 or give me enough keys to open the remaining supply job. If you watched my previous video, then you know what I'm talking about. If you didn't watch my previous video, then you're probably confused. You can go check that out if you'd like and then come back to this video and uh, or you don't, it's, it's up to you. So I know some of you watched my previous video and uh, didn't understand exactly what was going on. So I had 300 cop points and in the first part of the video, you, you, you will see it. Uh, 300 cop points, I go to open the hack it glitched out just like it does all the time it'll glitch out but then it'll at least show you that you open it and you're recently collected so once i clicked on it it said that it could not purchase it i clicked on it one more time it said it again so technically i did not spend the cop points and then it took the cop points away from me if i did spend the cop points and it actually opened a supply drop but just didn't show me because it glitched it would be in my recently collected items. The second part of that video, I put in there what I opened before my last one just to show you guys that in my recently collected, there wasn't anything new from that supply job. So Activision watched my video. They saw what I was talking about, and then they gave me 30 keys. The way that they gave me the 30 keys was through the daily login. So I got five keys, and then uh, instead of like a free supply job, they gave me 30 keys. Shout out to Activision. I appreciate your guys' support and helping me get my keys back. So now we're going to open the last week to Halloween Scream hack, and hopefully we get the RPR Evo variant. Let's see if we can get it or not. So two videos ago, I opened the full Halloween Scream bundle in the week to treat. I opened all of the week to Halloween Scream hacks except one. And that's the one we're going to open in today's video. So let's go ahead and get into it. See if we can get this RPR Evo variant. Here we go. Come on, give it to me. There it is. So I figured we were going to get it. It just happened to be on the very last one. And then all that stuff happened. Thank you to Activision. I appreciate you guys once again. So we got the RPR Evo Haven Submachine Gun Fortified and Steady. That's all that that has to offer. Not nothing too great. Fortified, I believe, puts on blast shield and then steady. But I just wanted to get everything out of week two. That way I had it in my inventory. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys want to see some gameplay with any weapons, let me know down in the comment section below. I haven't been playing Infinite Warfare as much as I was. I always hop on when there's new hacks and bundles just to open those, see if we can get something crazy or something new. I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here and I'll talk to you later.